Welcome back to the channel guys, it's your boy Roddy. Today we are going to pick up a brand new car. Or should I say, I already picked up the car. And the reason for this is because I noticed that you guys have been hitting me up about a TC and I just had to really just go ahead and get its sibling. And now that I got a sibling, so now I'm gonna have a TC and a sibling. I hope you enjoy this footage. I enjoy, and oh gosh, it's so cool right now. It's like, I'm trying to like, I'm all pad up. <laughs> like I wear a t-shirt, a windblazer, a freaking, hoodie and a jacket, I'm still cold. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this footage. Subscribe and like the video and tell your buddies about this because this is the new car. Never stop, I'll get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up till I'm on top Yo, no, I ain't the type to give up. If I do something, man, I do it till I give Yo, eh, so this is the brand new car. I hope you guys like it. Subscribe and actually watch the videos as I try to rebuild this thing. And just by getting this thing off the trailer, I find some damage underneath to the transmission. I don't know. I am in deep into this thing. I want to push myself and actually build something that I have never done before, done something out of the box. And that's the reason why I decided to take this on. I know that you guys are into the TC and I realized that the other cars, well, that you guys are into is the FRS BRZ 80, 86. <laughs> I was just like, you know what? Let me start looking online. It's what I found. Found this thing, and I was like, this is perfect. This is gonna be perfect for what you guys want to see rebuild. Just in case if you guys were to have one of these and you wanted to actually go ahead and build this car the way that you want it. Want to do a wide body kit on it, but I might not do that because it's gonna be a lot of money get dumped in it. Guys, if you really want to see me doing this uh, build on time and on a good schedule, go ahead and click the links in the bottom. Buy my merch at Spreadshop, my spread shirt as well. So this way you can actually fund the build. I only have a job and it's kind of like hard to actually take money from that, have a live in and actually build the cars. I'll really appreciate it if you guys just click the links in the bottom, support your boy as I continue these builds. I love this, I love this kind of stuff. Like I enjoy doing stuff like this. Like this is a second passion of mine. It's just that it comes you know, it becomes very pricey. Like, let me show, like it's really cold. My hands are really. Let me show you how cold it is. Come. On. <laughs> you don't believe how cold this is. This is really cold. Like, this is ice. Like, <laughs> it's really cold. So, like, it's really cold. So, we'll go back inside real quick. <laughs> So the shop has no heat and I'm gonna basically attempt because I gotta leave back tomorrow morning to go back home because I have some other uh, obligations to, to get done. So I have to basically tear this car apart now in literally an hour, hour and a half and then see how what parts I need to build this car. It's a lot more damage than the TC because if you come here, you can see that this frame right here is bent this direction, but I might be able to get this section forward and I won't know what else I'm gonna need until I remove the hood. Then I'll be able to see what I really need to fill this car. It's gonna take a lot of work, a lot of work. So due to the fact that I'm in Florida, this car is in Georgia, yes. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of trips back and forth. So I gotta make sure I get all the parts and after I get all the parts, then I gotta come out here fit the parts, make sure I have everything, and then go back and reassess again, back and forth until I get this car done and running. And this car doesn't run right now because the fuse box, look right here, the fuse box is right there. Like this is where the fuse box is and it's damaged. So the car doesn't come or turn on at all right now. The fact that the car doesn't turn on, I gotta get a wiring harness, I gotta get a fuse box and battery and airbags and a lot. Fenders are damaged, the fenders are not good anymore. And let me show you this real quick. So you can see the curtain airbag is out, like it's damaged. The seat airbag is blown out. And we have the steering airbag is out as well. And then the, st the shifter I have to take apart because the transmission is messed up. And this is the interior of it. It's really clean, it's really nice. And it's just that this person had a bad day. <laughs> this person really had a bad day. And the mileage on this car, 
so the mileage on this car is literally 9,000 miles on this car. So this is one of the brand new B uh, 86 TRD full package, everything, like everything in this thing. And it crashed at 9,000 miles. So this car is really brand new. And the title is only salvage. Not salvage, rebuild, salvage. Should be able to just go ahead and actually read this car and register it and put it in the streets right away. But other than that, let's get into it because I need to start tearing this thing down because I need to find out what I need so this way I can go home, assess my damages, and uh, make some purchases. A lot, a lot, a lot of purchases. Yes. <laughs> so let's get into the video. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey You got it? There we go! Alright Alright so, we got this far. Look at that. Got a lot done in a few hours. Um, now, it's just to see how to remove the ready to support right now. So we could get behind it to see what else back here, if there's anything else damaged. All the plastic here, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm, I'm not really fussy about replacing everything because most of the stuff is not going to go back anyways. But we, what we're focusing on is basically getting the car running. And as you can see, the fuse box is in the shambles right now. So we just got to basically work on, work on getting this section here freed out. Once we get the section freed out, let's try and focus and removing all this and then we can get into more deep of what's wrong and how should I say what's need to be replaced <laughs> because we literally spent a few hours on this thing. Like, look at this thing. We did as much as we could, and this is as much as we got done. So, as you can see over here, we have the whole front end, like literally uh, stripped. We got the coolant uh, hoses off, the radiators, the condenser, the whole front end support. Um, we have struck the the fuse box because we have to see if there's any damage to it and there is damage to it um so we gotta make we might have to replace this or just do the little patching on it to make it make sure the car runs and everything is good other than that we have a few damage here on this uh sensor here is damaged pushed in um this one is good like this i said this one is like straight out and this one is like pushed in so i would might have to replace this hopefully it's not too much of a pain to replace um you can see right here with the oxygen sensor is damaged so i gotta get a new oxygen sensor the exhaust i gotta get a new exhaust for that as well and the whole bottom here and major 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 issue uh right into so come down here i'm not sure if you see it but the subframe is bent along with this frame structure right here is bent um, that is not good so this whole thing have to be removed i had to remove the engine i gotta remove the bars the only good thing i saw right here is that this part of the strut, um, strut tower is still intact there's no bends up here it's just right here that's damaged all the damage is on the bottom end which is gonna require me to actually remove the engine, remove the transmission, and get down in there and see exactly what I need to get done. And after that, then once that is all done, then we could try to put everything back together 
and hopefully try to start it to actually make sure that everything is good. Um, what I might end up doing is actually the next time I come back, I'll just go ahead and try to actually get the car started. So I'm gonna need some relays. So I'm gonna take a picture of that, get the relays that I need, the fuse that, that's damaged. So this way I could actually, you know, at least get some power to the engine so I could get to start it. And then uh, once it start, then we can go ahead and start tearing everything apart, the structural parts, because this is gonna be the most deep I have ever gotten. And I'm ready for it. <laughs> I'm really ready for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just have to basically call a call in the night and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all. I know that things seem bad, but they could be much worse. There's always